horses, particularly that we think could be insulin resistant and have a tendency to gain weight very easily. This is a five-year-old mare who is in, at this point, is she in light work or moderate work? Moderate, she's in moderate work. She has access to grass, she gets muzzled, and yet she still remains a little bit on the chunky side. So when we start to look at these horses, many times their genetics are going to allow them to be insulin resistant from the time they're basically born. She's a Morgan. They are almost always insulin resistant, even if their blood work doesn't show it. But when we look at their body type, even if their blood's not showing it, we know that they are struggling with insulin resistance. So one of the first things, we look at her entire body, we can see that we don't have a lot of a waistline here. Tiny little bit of waistline, but we really don't have much. We can certainly see that she's got plenty of belly. But one of the most important areas to look at is the crest because the crest can tell us a lot about what's happening internally. And when most horses have a crest, they are storing the extra fat up here. And this crest can grow and shrink very rapidly depending on how much extra grass they're getting. So we wanna take our hand, visually look at it first and to see that it's there. Take our hand and feel down it, and if it's still at a healthy stage, that crest will feel very soft and squishy like a sponge. But as they start to get into the dangerous stage where they could get laminitis, the crest starts to get very gristly and firm, and visually it will have some cellulite looking bumps or have a lumpy texture then you are actually getting in danger of laminitis because that means that you're starting to have internal heat in the body and the next place that that internal heat is going to go is going to be to the feet. So as you look at her neck here, you start to see a few little wrinkles and bumps that are not smooth. And if this progresses any more than this, or starts to get any firmer, then we are significantly in danger. And the crest in a horse that's thin is also just as valuable piece of information because it can get lumpy like this. They can actually be thin across their ribs and those horses are very, very close to foundering. The other place to have a look is right above the tail head and you will see, and she has a nice little extra watch for too much fat right across the tail head. Now her fat right now is fairly smooth and fairly soft. This fat in this area can become hard and lumpy, just like the crest. And again, if it becomes hard and lumpy, you're in danger of having some laminitis.